Hey guys, today you need to get a toothbrush, you need to get a clay wooden tool, you're going to get canvas, and you're going to get a piece of clay. The very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that clay, I'm going to tear it in half. Alright, then I'm going to take one of those halves, and I'm going to tear that in half again. So I get three chunks of clay. Using the two smaller pieces of clay, I'm going to roll a coil. Remember to roll a coil, you just roll it between your hands like you're making a clay snake or a clay spaghetti noodle. I'm going to leave one that's just a little bit thicker like this. The other one I'm going to want to be kind of thin. So I'm going to roll another coil. This time it's going to be a little bit thinner, probably a little bit longer too. Usually that's what happens when you thin it out as it gets longer. All right, so you can see the difference. This one's kind of thick, short. This one's thinner and longer. I'm going to take this um, thinner one, and I'm going to take that toothbrush, get a little bit of water on it. I'm going to gently rub up and down one side of it. All right, this is called slipping and scoring. It's going to help my clay stick to itself. And after I've done that, now I'm going to roll it into a spiral. So I scrubbed it with the toothbrush. And I'm just going to roll this up. Just like this. All right. Might want to just smooth that end just a touch so it doesn't come undone. That's the shell to your snail. All right. See the shell. Next, I need to add the body. So I'm going to take this clay. Remember, it's kind of the shorter, thicker one. I'm going to gently press down on it just a bit. Don't want it to be super flat or as thick as a pancake. This is going to be the body to your snail. All right, so you can see it's going to get put on there like this. And he's going to get bent up just a touch. All right. So put this, the shell um, just a little bit further than halfway, all right? So just a little bit further back. Need to slip and score those, otherwise it's going to fall off. So I'm rubbing my damp toothbrush on there, not too much water. Doing the same with the bottom of my shell. Those can get stuck together. I'm not quite done yet, though. I need to take that wooden tool, and I need to smooth it now. So remember, I'm going to take that... I'm going to stick my wood tool into the side of the clay. I'm just going to pinch it together. So I'm kind of dragging some of the clay from the shell down to the body of the snail. I knew that need to do this all the way around. This helps smooth it on there. And then I can take my finger and help smooth that or the edge of my wooden tool. All right, after I've gotten that shell smoothed on there, I'm going to take kind of probably the longer end, and that's going to end up getting bent up so that it touches that shell. All right, so I need to slip and score that as well. Slip and score in the shell, slip and score in the neck of that snail. All right, stick them together. Oops, sorry, stick them together. And once again, take that clay tool and gently smooth it to the edge of the snail. Don't want them falling off. All right. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that hunk of clay that I had. I need to create something called a slab. So I'm really just going to squeeze it together and make it nice and flat. You can put it down on your table if you need to. All right, that's probably good. Kind of pancake thickness. I'm actually going to cut out like a leaf shape. So it's just kind of like a football shape, I guess. I can use my wooden tool to do that. So I got a leaf. And I'm going to slip and score that snail onto the leaf. All right, so then you got to use that toothbrush again. Just 
slipping and scoring the leaf and the snail. Stick them on there. And last but not least, smooth. So I started by tearing my clay in half. Then I took one of those pieces of halves and tore it in half again. So I ended up with three pieces of clay. I took the two smaller pieces of clay and turned them into coils. Remember, you want one coil that's kind of shorter and thicker. You want one that's a little bit longer and thinner. Roll the long and thin one into the shell. Be sure to slip and score when you do that. Then I flattened out the thick one and slipped and scored it to the shell. Last but not least, I flattened out my last chunk of clay, cut it into a leaf shape, and slipped and scored my snail to it. When you're done, bring these back to me. I'll be sure to put your name on the back of them. Please make sure to clean up after yourself when you're all finished.